Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and today I'm going to be delving into the game of War Tales. Now let's be honest, everyone's going to say this at some point so I might as well get this out of the way. Yes, it's a game that is similar to Battle Brothers. In fact, many people say this game is Battle Brothers with legs. Others say it's Battle Brothers Light. Me? I've watched a couple of half hour videos, maybe a little bit more, you know. Um, but I've waited, right? Quite some time ago, the developers put up a demo for people to dive in and play, and I held off because I didn't know if the demo was going to be a separate entry in my Steam library or if the game would replace it and it would just be for one entry. And I thought I'd keep it a little bit tidy because my Steam account's pretty full. Yeah, but here we are. It's time to strap on our packs, pick up our gear and trudge out into the weary wilderness in search of employment, adventure and pay. Let's do it. Choose your destiny. Your companions are apprentice friends looking for adventure, plus 30 influence, Minus 30, minus 30 experience? Is that minus 30% experience or just a flat minus 30 that they need to build up to get into the positive again? Starting companions, swordsman, archer, ranger and brute. Men, th these don't feel like a destiny, these feel like an origin. Men escorting merchants who lost their employer. Plus 150 crowns. Uh, crown spelt with a K, so it looks more Norwegian, or Danish, or Swedish. Minus one medicine. Starting companion, swordsman, warrior, spearman, brute. Swordsman, archer, ranger, brute. That might be double archers. Deserters, fleeing an abusive captain. We got companion's experience plus 50. Suspicion plus 30. Starting companions are a swordsman, archer, ranger, and brute. I think trying to get one archer or ranger in there would be good. So this one, we might not be so good on ranged attacks. Young farmers looking for a better life. Plus 10 bread, minus 50 crowns. Starting companions are a brute, spear, two spearmen, and an archer. Or bandits looking to escape the guard. Plus 100 crowns, plus 65 suspicion, that's pretty high probably. Starting companions are a, ra a brute, two rangers, and an archer. Now we don't know if the rangers are ranged combatants or not, initially. I do like the idea of a mercenary company who fell on hard times. They went along to a little village and got hired to go deal for the bandits up in the hills. And they went into the hills and they looked for the bandits for weeks and weeks and their supplies began to low, run low, their rations started running out and eventually they became the bandits and started robbing the nearby towns. But I think for a first time playing the game that's probably not the best option to pick. We might end up in that kind of situation anyway. Um, I think I'll go this one, right? Uh, men escorting merchants who lost their employer, so it's like you know, we were caravan guards, caravan has been killed, or it's like, yeah, look, did we get lost? Did we go off into the woods to do a wee and not find our way back to the path in time, get left behind, or what? I don't know. But let's go with this, right? Choose your destiny. Your companions are used to long walks. Reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue stacks by 10%. So that's a constant ongoing bonus, right? Our cunning fighters experience gained in combat increased by 10%. So I think the experience numbers in the previous one are just flat numbers. So the minus experience means they must start with a base number. Show incredible resilience. Constitution increased by 10%. That's probably good. I don't know if that's a stat or a raw thing. I don't know how that plays in yet. So I'm liking those two. Are excellent at slap games. I hate playing slaps. Do you know how to play slaps? You know that thing where you like put your fingertips together of your two hands and then put them against the fingertips of the other person and you and the person who's it 
takes it in turn to slap the other person on the side of their fingers and you have to take it if the other person misses it becomes your turn to start slapping them you are allowed to dodge by moving your fingers out of the way but you must keep your fingertips together for your two hands so you're moving your two hands as if praying but if the if the attacker goes to make a slap and you dodge and they don't even make a slap because they just fainted and you dodged a fake slap then they're entitled to a free slap and after so many slaps on the knuckles it really starts to hurt so you you need to get really good at knowing when they're not going to slap or not i hate this um having soldiers who are really good at this could be amazing but it's something i've always strongly disliked in the past could sell anything to anyone sell price of store items to a fence increases by 10 percent. i'm gonna go with used to long walks because the extra constitution is good but I've, I'm intrigued in the possibility of a game where um, stamina, the ability to keep going without exhaustion, is more important than the ability to take raw damage. If they had a flaw, it would be a somewhat meek appearance, eternal dissatisfaction, an uncommon bout of bad luck. Oh, I have enough of that as it is. A very hard time getting up. Yes. Yes. A greediness far more developed than I was. No, look, if it's anything like me, not an early morning person. Uh, Tiltrum County Independent State. It's the only option. Difficulty combat normal. Difficulty simulation normal. Well, since I don't know what normal or hard or easy is, I'll just take each of those. I don't even get to name the company. Oh. That feels wrong. I'd like to name the company at some point. Uh, when I checked in the options menu before playing, there was like, you know, no controls options, so I don't know what any of the hotkeys are. I presume I'm going to find out as I play. At the beginning, a mercenary's life is never easy. After a heated skirmish with bandits, the most opportunistic of your companions have fled, leaving behind a de generous payment and a furious client. Keen to make a few crowns, but not at the expense of our, their own lives, they now need to find a new job. Repairs and drinks won't pay for themselves after all. Let us begin. Right. How do we... There is a pause button. It is space. C for camp, I for inventory, G for compendium, M for map, well we've not really seen very much of it yet, paths, paths combine the feats you've achieved and show your progress in the various possible routes. I presume that's like a skill tree, right? Power and might, trade and wealth, crime and chaos, and mysteries and wisdom. Of which we have some PP. PP? PP. They're, they're collecting their PP. Um, hmm. Ten, one a day. For, hmm. Okay. I should look at these more fully in the future. Troops and bonuses. What have we here? Companions. One, two, three, four of you. We have Burfanor, the warrior. He's got an axe and shield. And uh, some fisherman's rags. Does not have a profession yet. So we can choose professions. Do these replace the warrior? Or are they like an additional skill? I don't know. Um, no skill points. Experience points. Skills are taunt and slash. Okay. Can I? I can. Oh, thank goodness. Feguem. Uh, let's call him Fegel. It's easier to pronounce. So we have Fegel. Feguem has been renamed Fegel and the other companions approve. Like, mate, your name's Fegel or Feggy. Feggy? Huh. 
No, no, no. Oh, we can't get Feggy Feggle in there. Uh, okay, fine. Feggle it is then. So Feggle has a club. He's got Pound and Roth. He's a brute. He can also take Tinkerer. Again, I'm not sure if that replaces Brute. Um, it does not. This means, until I get some more skills, everyone can take Tinkerer, right? Burfanor. We have Lampard. 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 The BH is hard, so I'm just going to change that to Lampard. Here we go. Uh, Lambard is a swordsman. With cleave and first aid. That's a two-handed. Oh, that's a really rusty old blunt slab of metal with a handle on it. And then we have Cecilil. Is that a Cecil? Is that a man or a woman? Looks vaguely feminine. Hard to tell. Um... Not sure. Um, I suppose it could be either. So you got Impale, Knockback, Spearman skill, and of course the Tinkerer skill because I haven't unlocked anything else yet. Uh, opportunistic, damage by attacks of opportunity. Okay, so we have attacks of opportunity. That's good. Right. I see this glowing here, and I see this thing with a great big skull net here, and this glowing here. All of these are things. I would probably like to investigate. I like the way the little company moves. Okay, we got some kind of resources there. I should probably close that. Oh, you're going to come fight us, are you? Fine. A hoodlum? Apparently we're fighting Americans. Is it, does anyone use that word apart from Americans? I don't know. And a poacher. What, just, just two of you? Fine. I mean, our company doesn't even have a name yet. Perhaps we'll get an event to name the company. All right. We have Cecilil, Fegel, Poacher, Burfanor. Oh, mate, you are so screwed. And Lambard. Um. Right. You can use any unit that hasn't taken part in round. Okay, so I have free order of action. The poacher's going to go before the hoodlum, and the poacher is going to be a threat to Fegel or Burfanor, both of whom have shields, but Fegel's shield is to front and left, uh, whereas Burfanor might get shot in the back. So if we take Burfanor and we say, let's move up to here, because we don't want to open ourselves to the poacher. And then we got an axe. Let's use it. There we go. Cut the bloke. Uh, taunt. Let's hope. Do we have a limit to the amount of actions? Oh! We have these valor points. I see that taunt will involve using one of them. And we don't know how easily we can get those back. So let's hold off and just end Burfanor's turn. Alright. So we could go Fegel. But I'm thinking, let's get Lambard. Oh, that's a cleaving swing. So let's get Lambard to oi, just about here-ish. I don't know if we have a way of controlling facing. Oh, mate, he swung and missed. Uh, do we have a... Uh, Oh, that does it. So I clicked move again, I right clicked a direction, and he faces that direction. That's good to know. Alright, he's coming up with his bow. This is going to be nasty. Ow! Well, we can't have that now, can we? Fegel? Mate, get in there and mess him up. You've got a hammer and everything. 
well, club. And if we end our turn, what's this, disengage? No, no, I'm, I'm comfortable here. And you, my fine friend, yeah, you, move. Uh, let's say over here, we'll finish this chap off. Can I move? Yes, I can move the camera. That's great. Stab him. Look, it's not ideal, but we definitely got him. All right. Poison is a bad thing, but I'm presuming the grey is armour and the red is health. You can go over here. Oh, mate. That's not good. Uh, you're up there. We can... Nah. Oi, you. Yeah, that's right. Now look, apparently we need to keep moving because this man with a bow is a bit of a big threat. Yeah, come on, mate. You're going to regret that. Right, Burfanor, do it. Yeah, got him. This rush might have... I should probably... Maybe we've held him back a little. Uh, galvanization. Damage increase? Isn't galvanizing when you, like, coat it with something special to protect it? The metal, it's... Um, hmm. It's to harden it. Okay, that poison is now gone into his health. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is I'm not sure. He, he can't go again? He's already gone? Okay, well... Mash him, mate. That's right. That's a club for you. Oh, my friend, you shouldn't have done that. Right. Lombard. How about we get you right here behind him where there's no question of a doubt. It's possible that the two times you missed, they were just out of your range. First aid sounds really good. You know what? Let's totally walk over there and do that. Mate. If this helps with your poison, that's ideal. Removal debuffs should have hopefully helped. And we'll say let's let's be facing the enemy. Right. Okay. Sessy Lil. Do it. Victory! We got some experience points and some influence. Influence can be used to recruit new companions or perform certain actions. Lovely. Uh, yep, let's take all of these. Fighters inspect. Uh, repair all. Sure. So nothing too unusual happened there. Everyone's good to go now. Let's go pick up whatever this is as well. Now I see some kind of farmhouses down here. Let's meander towards the road. Stables. And I see a tower over here. I like the tower. The tower looks important. It looks like a place where people with money would live and where they might hire people like us useless sods to do their dirty work for them. And hey, there's something to pick up. And if it's some old ruin... Oh, the camera zoomed in. Don't know what... Let's get back on the road. Out of the woods. We don't want to be taken for brigands. Oh, hey, there's something I should... To the prison? Well, we're good law-abiding folk. We don't have any cause to go to prison. We're not going to go to jail... We're not going to collect 200 crowns. Um, it's a fishing. No, no, we don't have anyone well suited to that. 
But we know that's something we can do now. There's a merchant caravan. That's something we should look into when we have more crowns. Also, wages are high. So we do need the work. There's some wood. Let's see if we can meet with this merchant caravan. Hey, what are you lot doing? Where's them refugees? We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Yeah, I've been drinking. We all have. How do you know? You see us or summer. <sighs> Never mind. Leave us be. We got refugees to clear out. Chilton! Clear out of Chilton. Yeah, fine. Sounds good to me. Um, they, they, rewards promised. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, alcohol should distract them. Well, we don't have that. Let's just leave. It looks like... Oh. Oh, are you bandits? We have nothing. We're only refugees fleeing the Ediranian War. Please let us go, I beg you. Well, look, mate, I've got no trouble with you. Um, and and, and your, your scarily modern-looking haircuts. Um, actually, this is a very medieval haircut. This is a very... This is a more modern one. And this, shaved on the side, is definitely very more modern. She has the same hairstyle as him. Right. Uh, what should we give you? Bread? Um, oh, you got pittons and snow irises. Um, our wages are really tight, so uh, we're not going to attack. Uh, let, let's give them a bit of bread and hope we don't regret it. Oh, thank you so much. Let's take our departure and let's hope these two groups don't come to blows. Oh, well, we meander on down the road in search of employment. It's got to happen at some point. I see houses, and where there's houses, there may be work. Oh, a farm of Lund. Apparently we're just traipsing across the fields, trampling the... Oh, what's that over there? We want that. That looks good. Okay. What have we here? We have some sheep. We have a, a cooking pot. Um, Trapper's fondue. Um, melted cheese accompanies gamey meat in this dish originated from the Alazar Mountains. Yeah, but it's not ours. We didn't cook it. We're not going to... Especially not while there's someone here. There's a woman here called Christina Lund and a locked chest. But we... Let's talk to her. How could they? We didn't even put up a fight and they still killed our precious Lucilla. Mad with grief, my father chased out after them toward the mill. I hope he caught up with them. These thieves don't deserve to live. I hope he... didn't, because he deserves to live by the sound of it. The mill, you say? Let's go try and find that mill. Where is it? A windmill or a water mill? I don't rightly know. But I'm going to go pick this up. something over there i can come back for it but I, oh hello you gang of fugs if you're coming in to give grief to this poor farmer's daughter two hoodlums and two poachers it's almost like it's exactly twice as much as we encountered last time because it is exactly twice as much as we encountered last time and i see that book's lit up so something's going on here uh what are these you can place a companion here before the battle starts so i can redeploy is what you're telling me Let's put Fegel here. Fegel. Oh, I could... I like that. Let's get Cecilil down here of the indeterminate gender. Right, if we're going to rush you around here at these... Okay, that one we want to be concerned about because you're coming around here. That looks like that's a trap. All right. Uh, let's do it then. Is there a way we signify that battle has started or do we just... Right. Berthenor shouldn't go first. Lambard, 
I think Song of a Shield. Fegel, my man. Ooh. Come on, I can, I can. It. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Oh damn it! Got the trap as well. That's a good start, right? That softened him up, and now they're facing off against each other. I like the fact that he's using his bow to fend off blows without exposing his bow to significant damage. They're sort of testing each other's defenses, tapping, feinting. Right. Ceci Lil, let's send in Lampard. Hey, mate, you're going to like this. It's a two-handed sword. It goes like this. It's not even sharp. And now, you with the bow are going to get a turn. Ow! Don't do that. You'll piss him off. Oh, poison? Again? Oh, come on. Seriously? Right. Burfanor. That sounds like a true warrior's name. Mess up that bowman. Nice. And then, Ceci Lil. Uh, how about moving? Right, here would be good for a poke. But here would get me extra pokage possibility to redirect onto those afterwards. So we're going to stab you like that. Just to make sure you really feel it. And I can't change facing now. Okay. So you do need some movement to be able to... Oh, bloody hell. To, to be able to change facing. All right. Okay, so you're going in there. That's good. We can work with that, right? So here is what we need to do. A new round is starting. Can we just, like, walk over here and absolutely... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's take this simple. We want you. Lampard. Because now we know what kind of state this combatant is in. Now, who's going first? You, then you. So if Fegel here hits you with that, that's going to leave a mark, right? That's going to get your attention and make you go, hey, hang on a minute, maybe I should seriously reconsider some of my life options. And then if you nip down to there, Keep those two, them occupied, and you can go get that one in a bit. Will this hurt much? Oh no, that was easy. Alright, mate. You know it makes sense. Ooh, hello. Um, pokey pokey. Now, that puts Fegel in a bit of a bad way, so let's move. Here. And then Burfanor says, hey, look, mate, it's an axe. It does what it says on the tin. No movement option, I see. So we are properly engaged here. All right. So our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to stay alive. These vagabonds, these ruffians have set about us. Right. When are you going? You are... So this poacher down here goes first. This one goes second. Meaning these two thugs are going later on. So I can have three people go before this person goes. Meaning... Ah. Right. Ceci Lil is in the one in... Can I can I get you? Yeah. No? Okay. That's good to know. Right. Fegel. You can absolutely come over here and do this. I heartily agree. See, now that's a good start. And then we can even send you back this way. That's good. Right. Then if we have Burfanor finish this one off with a hefty blow of his axe. 
he should no longer need to disengage and should be able to he can only go this far this way so he can't come to this poacher but he can run all the way up here which is a much longer difference so there must be some kind of blocking like sessy lils in the way or something right yeah yeah you you run mate you're gonna wish you'd run oh that hurts all right uh hey sessy lil i'd like you to leg it back round here behind this this cover and a bit of first aid Ooh, can't do it on yourself good to know well in that case uh yeah just um stay there and don't do oh oh is that poison that's that's really bad you don't have first aid you do you don't right sword okay that is very dangerous for next round so we need to free you up oh bloody hell new round is starting right who are you you are this one down there okay you are poisoned okay Berthanor, we need you to absolutely just get up to there. Keep on moving. Down to here. And say hello. I would totally like to face you. And in my turn. Now you have a choice of opponents and you... I would say chose poorly. Right. If Cecilil runs up there to heal him... She's liable to get shot by this chap. So let's send Lambard, who's also poisoned. Oh dear. So, this is an issue. Fegel's going to get a turn before this chap anyway. Poach is going to get a turn for this. Oh, this is, this is rough. All right. So we're pretty much rushing you to here then. And ending your turn. Free poison? Okay. Okay, okay. Two poison there. Right, if we take you, Fegel, and wallop this guy, it's not going to... Okay. You've gone. So it's just Sassy Lil and right. Free and free, that looks really bad. Oh that you oh he is he is screwed. In that case, uh I shouldn't have put him there. Poisoning. Oh that's just I see oh well end your turn this is very bad news for us right Fegel um, smack him obviously uh, we're gonna take heavy losses here by the look of it especially as this are oh come on mate that's just wrong all right Okay, look, you're very badly hurt. If I rush you to here and cleave both of them, why are you not in? Now, I'll cleave both of them. Perfect. And then I can disengage a little bit and try not to die. Mm. Dying is bad. Right, what can we do about this? Can no longer use skills and moves at half of their capacity. Die if they take any more damage. And there's poison. Okay, that... That annoys me quite a bit. There's... Yeah, we're going to suffer and dead. 
Well, that's not a good end to our beginning to our story, is it? It reduces our wages, but we really didn't need much of a wage gap at this point. Ah, uh, that's some very leafy tree coverage over there. And Sessie Lil, you're entitled to be pretty miffed at this whole situation. Um, I'm not sure we can come back from this. Unless, if it's true death... Yeah, they, they're dead. Uh, don't have enough raw materials to repair anything. We'll grab all this stuff. Um, got some healing. And... Okay. Uh, you leveled up, apparently. Okay. What can you get this level? Um, we have strength for two. I presume the pluses are... Are the pluses how much we can increase those every level, or just how much we can increase those this level, right? As in, are those indicators of, like, some random roll this level, or are they just, uh... Or are they just every level? Because if they're every level, that's an overall pattern and trend that we should build towards, right? So we have lots of strength. Um, so strength, damage, and critical damage. Dexterity, uh, increases the skill damage based on dexterity and critical hit. Okay, so skills, um, that is a... I don't know what kind of... If that's a strength or dexterity skill, I'm going to presume it's a strength. Uh, movement. Can go further. Willpower. Will be great. Critical hit. Critical hit chance. Constitution. And you can upgrade at some point to Harpooner, Herald, or Pikeman. Uh, spear wool. Medium armor. Right. I would assume that medium armor proficiency allows me to wear light armor as well but that might not be the case right so like heavy armor might not include medium armor proficiency or light armor they might say i'm just not comfortable in this lighter armor it feels weird and i get a specialization valorous audacity each time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat you gain one valor I'm not sure how the engaging mechanic works exactly. Is it they have to fight me, hit me back, or I have to hit them, or just so just walking up or what? Um, Valorous victory every time. Also with a reach weapon, with a, a long pointy pokey weapon, she's not that likely to stand too close to people. Valorous support ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat. That would be quite easy for a support character, especially if she's going herald. Doesn't really. I imagine that might use lots of willpower. So if I go Pike instead and go for the kills as like a finisher, I take that and I go for strength. I think it might just be one point for each plus, but then for these ones with no pluses, I don't know. And that is 0 of 8. Um, not damaged? farmer's rags. Well, let's keep her with her own basic equipment for now, until I know better. And you didn't get to level up. Obviously, of our company's size, we are now in a very bad situation. Fatigue, strength, and dexterity reduced by 30%. That's okay. Um, workshop. Can we make stuff? We can move the workshop um, if we want to. I think we're good. We can use it. Place an inventory. Um, they both have no um, no known skills, so we can make pittons, lock picks, fish hooks. Okay. So we can make lock picks and fish hooks at the moment with our current supplies. Torches would be nice. Uh, we have no grease. Cooking pot would be good. 
a tent would be really nice. For now, though, we have none of those things. So we click on the campfire to... No, we can move the campfire. We can use it. Hello, pony. I will move the pony. I can move the pony. Right, fine. Um, hello, pony. I will not rename you. No, no. Bill. It's got to be done. Bill the pony. Named after Bill Fernie, obviously. Now we will rest. Um, we have some food. We have some bread. Can we split that? That's enough. Man, that's all we got. Okay. Okay, we've got two action points. Troops are well rested. That's great. Let's leave camp. How do we do that? Like that, apparently. And now we say, well, hey, that was really harsh. And go back to the farm. Uh, Christina, can you... No. Okay. So Lucilla might be her... Her daughter? Or like their prized pig or something. I'm not sure. Right. Um, we're not doing very well as a starting mercenary company. In fact, we're kind of knackered. There's some wood there and some people here who... What is that sign? That is the suspicion sign. Yeah. Look, we need more people in our group and we need to find more people. So let's go along the road. Uh oh. Keep keep at it. Oh, the mill. The mill. We do not go to the mill. We die at the mill. Uh, that's where he went, and all these people could be rough as well. Um, I'm enjoying this, but I'm thinking we definitely had a very rough start, and I might need to redo that beginning completely. But we need to hire some people to make up for our losses, and I think this is the end of our company. Yep. Where's them refugees? We'll toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. Oh, hello again. It's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you've been drinking, mate. It's fine. We're going to leave you there. And we're going to go this way to those stables. Maybe we'll meet a young stable hand who'd like to live a life of adventure and death on the roads. Maybe even get a little bit paid. At the Plateau Stables. Otherwise, we'll have to follow this road. Man, I'm not having a good beginning, am I? <laughs> Who are you? Engwim. When I think of how many people don't shoe their horses, it makes me want to pull out the little air I've left. Tell you what, buy an horse from us and I'll throw in the your shoes for free. Um, if I had the money, maybe. As it stands right now, though, not gonna happen. It's a very... inspect. I'm not going to pinch his stuff. We are not thieves. Not yet, at any rate. We'll probably be branded as thieves sooner. We do need the food. Uh-oh. More, more armed individuals. Stromcap. This looks like a full-on settlement. No, it just looks very small. Right, well, can I do something here? Oh, I like this little camera zoom in. Okay. Uh, Free Hairs Market. Tiltron Apothecary Clinic. The Traveller's Feast Inn. The Town Hall. And the Master Hulan's Forge. Well, I imagine we're going to need some... money to hire people. Hey, there's a person here. Emissary Kefach Kefachna. The Informant. Bialinon. An egged. Egged looks like a barman. Bialinon looks like someone who means business. Oh, she's a lady. I'd like to discover new places and travel the world. Um, 20 of our 44 renown and 40 of our 236 money. Okay. Well... Tinker and... Oh, we got a fisherman craft now. Okay, well, let's, let's just change her to simply B. 
with her two-handed axe. Uh -huh. um, so she can go Berserker, Executioner and Sentinel. So some kind of Guardian, maybe. I like that idea. Obviously we'd have to make the heavy armour. Uh, Ceci Lil then can go Fisher and then B can go Tinker. That works. Emissary Kefakna. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Well, let's see what you've got. Okay, easy, hard, average, average, hard. Let's just look at the easy one, then. It's hmm. Kirard's squad is responsible for countless cattle thefts in the area. The outraged farmers have decided to raise money in order to put an end to their crimes. To these crimes, in fact. Well, let's accept that. East. Oh, I like the fact they give us details as well. We'll take that job. It's just over there. Okay, I see. Ached. Say, it's not often you see new faces around here. Well, apart from the Adoranian re war refugees, that is. Well, my good man, we'd like to buy your apple pancake. Please. Please, please, please. Yes. Recipe. Apple pancake. Coke apprentice required. We don't have that yet. Brandy. Probably out of our budget. Uh, wages are 54 a day, so that's three days. Two if we want to feed ourselves and stuff. Right. Feel free to come back often. There's always folks looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. And we have the informant. Psst! You! Yeah, you! You looking for work? I can give you tips and point you towards the best missions. The kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the Mercenary Guild has to offer. Well, at this early point in our careers, we probably really need to. Uh, information... Oh, we have to buy them with our um, influence. I see. Of course, you'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs, but at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? He looks like a thoroughly disreputable fellow. So, having lost a member of our company, I'd like to go to market, see if I can get us some food. Uh, hello. Milanor looks like he might... So you look like you're selling vegetables. You look like you're selling uh, sausages and meat. You touch it, you buy it. Um, let's buy two apples. I'm planning to try and do this this task in two days and get paid and keep going. Uh, some grapes, cherries, salt as a component. So let's hold off there and how are we doing for food? Nine one day's food. We're going to need a bit more than that. Okay, what have you got, friend? Uh, so we take a dead rat. Look, we there's no pride in this, okay? Two rats. Those refugees, I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. Too true. Come, take a look at my wares. Uh, I presume all good for crafting or trading to other town. Yeah, I see trade goods. Okay. But I'm thinking, as we've lost a member, we're going to want some slightly better equipment. Oh, do we make equipment? We make equipment. All right. You have to use my anvil. For, you can use my anvil for a few crowns. 
I can repair your armour. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. Um, let's take two, three, live dangerously. Coal, we don't need that yet. And let's be on our... Wait, 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 wait. He can mend stuff for us, right? Our armor has been repaired. That's great. Let's get out of here. Uh, how do we let this, apparently? Right, so somewhere up here. Not too far. Hey! I like the medieval look of that map. That's nice. What's that? Hammer for hire. Working on it. That looks like a fishing spot. This looks like not a fishing spot and something we should probably pick up. All of the resources we can gather will probably be necessary for... Pick that up on the way back. This looks like prime ambush territory, especially if they come down off the ridges. Sinister cave. Is that it? No. Interesting. The cave, I suspect, is a slightly more dangerous location, especially as it's described as sinister. So we should not approach it just yet. That's probably where a, a guard outpost. That's nice. Can we go there and interact? We can. Hello, who are you people? Captain Rovand? Jok... Jokguet? Joguet? Uh, Magnacus. Magnacus sounds like a great name. Nothing is beneath him. Bertram stole two cows and a calf from my brother-in-law. In one night, my family lost everything. Well, you look like a pretty solid man. You can probably go deal with that, right? I will never help the refugees after what happened. They're all just like Bertram. Lot of scoundrels, a lot of them. All right, lady, steady on. To think we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. That Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorise the yokels, but when it comes to facing the guard, that's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? He's old up in there. It's been three days and still he won't surrender. Bertram knows he's done for, yet he continues defending his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. And that's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. And once you gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. I accept, and we'll probably die in the attempt. I think the best thing for me to do is bugger off out of here and continue with my original mission. And then come, you know, do this on the way back. If we're alive at all by that point. We are very much nearing the point where our quarry is supposed to be. Around here-ish, I think. Hello. Up there, I see. Well, let's go pick this up. Inspect this, which is probably... We're having that then. Okay, fine. Are you lot who we think you are? steady on we're looking for people over here if we can avoid an extra fight that'd be great because if they're not the people we're seeking progress made in your discoveries has earned you a knowledge point that's great are you people gonna come die i think you're gonna come and die vanquish kirad's squad yeah your companions have just ambushed their targets and will have an advantage in the fight. 
I don't know what kind of... A henchman. What, just Kirard on his own? Let's fight. Let's do it. And let's try not to lose anyone else. Well, there's just the three of us. So... There's Kirard the Rustic. There is the henchman. Okay. You've got a pickaxe, is that? Let's, let's drag you over there. Pop you there, because you've got a shield. All right. I don't know what this advantage is, but let's do it. Hey, this is Pokey Pokey. Uh, wait, this is... I thought this, this is passive. Okay, good. Let's go to here and fa face this way. Right. Uh, you? No. You. Go to this side. And axe attacks. He's got a lot of armor. And you're locked in now, definitely. Alright. I like him. I'm liking the bear trap there. Uh, ow. Okay, lady. Get him there. Oh! That's a... That's not good. That's much better. That's a big-ass two-handed axe. And it's going to leave a mark. Right. Uh, I want you facing this way for when the other one comes. And here he is with his two axes of death. Alright, this isn't looking very good for us. This is looking pretty tough. If we had the... Our other two dead companions of us, that'd be great. Can we get both of you two? Hey, now, come on. I want to I wanna swing here and get him as well, right? I can't do that. That's a real shame. Right, okay, hold off. So we get two people. I think Sessy Lil needs to run in here and say, Hey, I've got a big pokey thing. And I'll be starting next to a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah push you back, pal. And that should then get us a point, right? First aid. Yes. Now, you can now swing like... No. Can you move like this? And then swing like this and hit these two? Yeah. That's great. I mean, it doesn't really hurt him very much, but it does something. Then you can bugger off over here. Because we don't have a lot of... Uh, survivability! Oh, he just chucks an axe at her. And then runs in and hits her with one. Man, that's nasty. Okay. Burfanor, you know the drill. That's a lot of defense to be getting through. And that's a lot of damage. What we can do is have B. No. Cersei Lil can... It needs to be not engaged in combat. Right. Can you move around? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, just get there. Axe attacks. Because we got to get this one down fast. Uh, stay put. Ow. Right. Can I rotate the camera? I can rotate the camera, that's great. You. Uh, do it. That's perfect. And now... Heal. I move round to, say, just here. And end. Then, Burfanor. Come on. You can do it. Two points at a time. Hey, we got something on him. Maybe some sort of surprise thing? I don't know. Oh, that's bad. Okay. 
we're out of those so we get one more turn before his unless we poke him back and then move to here to get ourselves a point it's not much oh that's bad all right you can't take actions you can move to there and be like please don't kill me I want to live all right B go on no not those two just I'm so glad that didn't include Ceci Lee Ceci Lil right this is gonna hurt a lot obvious oh for goodness sake man he's no he didn't go for birth and all that's all right thought he's gonna try to take out another party member there I am very close to needing to okay look we'll just do it better than nothing galvanization apparently yeah we are <laughs> and uh, how about not standing just there Ow, time. Alright. So, we need you to disengage. Try not to die. That'd be ideal. No healing. Oh, we are screwed. Right. Well, in that case, go back to here. Pokey, pokey. That's much better. Uh, mate, you're just there. So you have already gone, so it's got to be you. Yeah, I really want to end his turn because there's nothing else he can do. Right. Uh, why am I not getting this back? Oh, kills an enemy, I see. Right. Okay, I thought it was something else. Mate, you're going to get attacked a lot here. And then you can move over to there, just crawling away for all you're worth. Ow. Obviously very bad for us. Right. Let's just try it. Uh. Uh. Pokey Pitchfork of Death. Like Ged in the third Earthsea Trilogy book. Well, fourth Earthsea Trilogy book. Yes, I know. <laughs> repair all yes we are taking all this stuff that's a nice shield we should definitely well a training buckler human remains uh probably useless then again uh we could turn him in for a bounty we could possibly resort to cannibalism as a last resort uh there's some crowns there's some cloth we're having all that you've just completed a mission Vanish, yeah, report to an emissary to claim your order. What, any emissary or the one who hired us? Right, we have people. Um, where's our inventory? Right, can you take this, mate? It will keep you alive and you will be not dead. Uh, four armor guard, ten. Two armor guard, ten. So yes, that is an improvement, allegedly. <laughs> All right. So we still got to get into the cave. We're going to want to camp soon. Oh, and we have um, knowledge we've learned. So run. Move around by running for a few seconds, the best way to elude enemies. Endurance training. The troop is improving its stamina and can move faster. Don't worry, I see these other tabs. Anvil. Ra Wait, I can learn these? workshop learn to make saddlebags um weighted training the troopers trained with weights and can now carry heavy loads over we don't have enough heavy stuff to carry camaraderie has learned to relax and share moments of true camaraderie improve increase the troops happiness we could probably do with that smooth talk 
Your companions become great spokespersons who can talk anyone into joining their ranks. So this is kind of like the perk tree from Battle Brothers, but it's for the whole company. Burning Mastery. Your troop is developing a strong taste for seared flesh. Maybe not. Artful Dodgers. Consider yourself messed up. Poison Mastery. Bleeding Mastery. Cannibalism. I'd rather not have to resort to that. We don't eat people. Unless we really, really have to. Right. What's this? Fatigue? That's okay. We'll need to camp soon. Uh... Offer hunters, bribing the bounty emissaries to get more contracts. Feet makers, your companions are ready to fight and shine with glory on the battlefield. Maximum valor points increased by one. Well, when we are better at generating them, that's another point, another matter. For money, in order to find crowns, the companions search bodies for the most in the most incongruous places. So we get more after fights. For glory, the troops tend to boast after beating an opponent. Yeah. Yeah. Frugality. Each companion agrees to cut it in their wages for the greater good. Or rationing. Uh, yeah, given our limited supplies, rationing seems like a good idea. Ooh, sharpened CX. Iron back to Corba. Two handed mace. Iron axe. These are all weapons. There's got to be some armor down here, right? And other things. Um, does this mean, before I continue, we have a new... Yes, it does. Awesome. Uh, so if we keep Berthanor on Tinker, Cecilil on Fishing, and B on Blacksmith. Also, you're level 2. You're level 1 still. Okay. Let's try and get just round this bend before we have to rest and then rationing yes we know this now so for money and for glory are they mutually exclusive it doesn't say so but it could still happen uh these are all these are still exclamation marks why are they Learn for one how much knowledge do we have we have one more Apparently. Well then. Um, hmm. I don't know who can use which weapons. So those are... I want to hold off and make better. Better weapons. When I know who can use them well. Oh well, we'll, we'll work it out eventually I suppose. Come on, just just round here, and we'll we'll rest soon, and people will. Cecilil died of exhaustion. You could should set up camp and rest. I was, I was going to. Oh, for goodness' sake! Right, look. Um, obviously, that's very bad. Let's get you by that campfire. Uh, we don't need seven, do we? Rat. Apples. More rat. There we go. Oh, yeah, we pay our wages, absolutely. We get to pay... M Interesting. Okay. And those, those wounds as well, that's not nice. Gain to action points. Troop is well rested. Uh, do we get to tend your wounds at all? Okay, where's our medicine? Head injury. Don't have any medicine for this injury. Okay, fine. We better leave then. Uh, given our losses, we better just run for it. We can come back to this cave later if we manage to hire anyone else, which I doubt. And I've, oh my goodness, I've been recording quite a long time, haven't I? I should probably do something about that. In fact, I'll probably better just start again in the next episode. By which I mean literally start again and don't do so badly. Wow, that 
that did not turn out well for us. This is our, our sorry excuse for a company. You know what? Lower wages will get to live a bit better. I still have to pick up those things on the way for now, though. We just want to get back to town alive, really, and get paid. And if there's nobody else to hire, I think we're done. Theofert. There is someone else to hire. Well, let's get our pay. Might you be looking for work? Well, we got to work. Pay us, please. Here is your reward. Well, thank you. Can we hire you? I'm at your service, provided you pay me handsomely. We kind of need to. Uh, our company has... Uh, what's he do best? Spearman? Uh, give him a bit of tinker. So we've got two tinkers and a fisher, right? Uh, we need to repair these. So we need mending tools and medicine for a head injury. I don't imagine any of you would sell medicine. No. We're going to have to make it, aren't we? We're going to have to make it with, like, cloth. No medicine from you either? Okay. Um, you have the blacksmith skill. Uh, so make rags, a taj, which would be different to a target buckler. No, it's basically the same. Right. Uh, throwing axe, throwing knife. So we can make some more rags. Actually, that's not entirely bad, and we do have the stuff for it. Let's do it. Am I supposed to click on these? Okay. Um, armor layer available, okay. That's us done. Someone. Um, rags, rags. You know what? You made it, you can wear it. Hmm. Hang on, that's... I made better than it. I made 10. Oh, 11. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Slightly better outfit. Allegedly. Um... Hmm. Maybe there's a 5. Oh, that is wrecked. Right. Well, I think I need to end the episode here because we all did very badly and nearly died so uh i'm gonna leave this one here i hope you all enjoyed this episode lengthy though it was and i do look forward to seeing you all in the next one i'm gonna say goodbye for now though and cheerio everyone <laughs>